Hey, we're here to talk to you about what value group coaching can have over one-on-one -on -one coaching. So one of the points might be, first of all, a lot of the things we're to say there, there is elements of it in one-on-one -on -one coaching. Sometimes it is that with more people, it's greater than the sum of its parts. Um, but also Brittany was making a good point to me earlier that you cannot bring an ADHD coaching topic. If you do not know that the thing you're struggling with is related to ADHD. So when you are immersed in a group that is talking about all the time, you have way more opportunities to hear, oh, right. That's ADHD too. I, I have clients who will say to me, oh, this thing that I do, I don't know if it's ADHD, but and I'm like, uh-huh. Yep. And yes, <laughs> you don't have to take up one on one coaching time to hear it because you're you have that in the discord or in the meetings and you're yeah. immersed in that. Yeah, I mean, you can get that from coaching, but it's slower because it has to come often organically out of the topics that you bring. Your coaches are going to be like, here's a list of everything that's related to your ADHD go. Um, yeah. And another thing that people get out of one on one coaching is, OK, it's not just me oh, that's a relief. And they'll hear a story or something, you know, about me or another client or something that's related. Like, okay, yeah, I could totally see that and feel this felt sense of validation and not being alone. Um, and that is a really slow, expensive way to do that compared, compared to a group where there's far more voices, more topics are being brought up by other people that aren't you, um, that, that then you can add to your arsenal of I'm not alone. Right. Yeah. And, and get into a place of, of accepting and, and even liking your own brain faster. Yes. Because we can also have a logical or intellectual understanding that, oh, it's not just me by reading articles or, or understanding that, yes, this is a diagnosis of however much percentage of the population, whatever. But that is a different thing, often, especially for ADHD people, than an emotional, experiential um, happening of it that you see all the time, that you experience, and that you connect with other people on versus the dry academics of it. And we learn better and faster from having more examples. Mm -hmm. And that's true, whether we're talking about ADHD struggles or whether we're talking about ADHD solutions. Yes. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah. And so the, the, the struggles and then having more examples, uh, for, for both, um, and, uh, and genuinely hoping we genuinely hope that people who join the guild will learn faster not to hate their own brains because it's hard not to when you grow up and you have however many decades of clearly it's me clearly it's me clearly it's my brain even if you had a diagnosis oh this is this, this thing wrong with my brain that that is why me and people i love are being caused pain and understanding it better being able to work with it not against it is a step and and we have seen that that is something that we say to group members all the time that their self-hatred has reduced and their understanding has increased. And that is always a, a beautiful, magical uh, growth. That we, we had one glorious meeting where a, about half the group, their victories they brought to the group that day was a thing happened and they didn't beat themselves up about it. And that was not true earlier on in, in their lifetime with the guild. Right. Yep. And it's, it, few things warm my heart more. And as much as we are professional ADHD coaches, we know a lot about this stuff. I would credit us with facilitating, but cre creating the space. It is the connection and it is the slow soaking in over time of the emotional reality of how we can do these things. We can do them differently and we don't have to hate ourselves. And we don't have any magic that provides that. That is the connection with other people.
So you're saying it's a really good stew. It is. It's a great <laughs> stew. It's got lots of things in it. The flavors meld. It's great. <laughs> uh, um, uh, another thing. Oh, yeah. sorry. Yes. Go ahead. Well, another thing that along those same lines, something that warms my heart is a sense of belonging and to see people sometimes for the first time feel a sense of belonging and feel as though I am welcome here. I don't have to have my shields up. I don't have to have a mask on. I, I can reside here safely and securely. Yeah. Yeah. On, on the just straight up practical side, um, you know, in coaching, we, we do ask a lot for your input coming up with strategies. We may have some ideas that really exist to be kindling for you to come up with even better ideas. Um, but when you're feeling a little tapped out on those ideas, um, hearing what's working for more people can help you find what works for you faster because it's just more, more sources. Um, if a coach rattled those off, it would be overloading. But when you hear them from different people, they're just saying that works for them. And you can take exactly what you want. Of course, you can in coaching too, but like um, it's easier to take exactly what you want from it and like, oh, okay, I, you know, I'm really glad that works for Bob, but you know, that's not, that one's not going to work for me, I don't think. But yeah. you get to hear more strategies faster and it's sort of in real time and sometimes in response to something that you need right now. Yes. And in that setting, either on Discord or on a Zoom meeting, it is self-evident and from the beginning um, evident that this is just, we're talking about it. We're talking about it. You don't have to do any of these things at all. But when it's one-on-one -on -one coaching, it's l hopefully the coach can face that you don't have to do any of these. But when it's the one-on-one, -on -one, it's like, oh, I'm being, I'm being fed this to try, right? So it's it's more of a buffet that you can pick and choose rather than here's your meal. You must eat all of your plate. And think on it for a while yes. too. Before and have you... access to it at your own pace, especially on the Discord. And if you have more questions like, you know, let's say, um, I don't know, Sue Ann. I don't know where these names are coming from. Sue Ann said, hey, I really tried this thing and it occurs to you later. I want to know more about that. You can reach out on the Discord and say, Hey, how does that work? Like, mm -hmm. do you have a specific time you do that thing? You know, the questions that you would need to ask to make sure you could visualize it if you really want to try it for yourself. Mm -hmm. Which you can't ask an article. You can ask a coach, but especially if the coach is talking about something that worked for another client, they might not have the, the details and the information on that because maybe it's ongoing and new or whatever. And so. depending on your coach, like their policy or how easy it is to reach out to them, it may be next week first, mm -hmm. as opposed to just, I'm going to go on discord right now and ask impulsively, Which impulsively, right? Yeah. Sometimes you have to use the impulsivity. Yep. <laughs> yeah. And that and is a another big part thing. of it. Go ahead. Yes. Um, the, uh, we kind of touched on it, but, um, especially the discord, I feel being a safe bubble and, you know, living inside a bubble forever. It's not great, but also living in a in, in a time and a space where you feel like you are being attacked all the time for like, you know, sensory or, or criticism or whatever it is. If you have a space where you can just take off, take off your uncomfortable clothes for a time and just sit on the couch of ADHD, um, that can be hugely beneficial, um, for lots of folks and it's connected to the sense of belonging, but still it's like, ah, oh, I don't have to worry here. Yeah. And, and we definitely have folks who have made real legitimate, like talk outside of the guild friends mm -hmm. that have encouraged them to make career changes or, mm -hmm. um, you know, you, you're good enough. You can do this thing and help us get over our inner, inner critics. And, and that's just from watching those relationships forge mm -hmm. out of, out of that vulnerability and out of, I see part of me in you. Mm, yeah, it's wonderful. Thanks for listening. And hopefully you got something out of talking about one-on-one -on -one coaching versus a group.